Welcome to Raj Online Trainings. In the series of Java puzzles, let us go with one more. Taken a new class Java puzzle 34 with main method insight. And uh, we have taken array size as 5, integer array size 5. And we are allocating memory for array int array arr equal to new int of array size. So what is the array size here? 5. Now we are traversing the array for i int i equal to 0 and i less than arr dot length plus plus i and we are printing the elements of array using index now let us see the options for this the op a option is no output means nothing will get displayed on the screen b option compile time error c option it goes with exception so since it is array it will go with the uh, array index out of bound exception and the d option is uh, five zeros it's going to print zeros now let us understand what will be the output of this program. So it's a basic simple question. Here we are allocating memory uh, for an integer array of size what 5 here. We have given the array size as 5. So it's going to allocate memory for 5 elements. So it's going to allocate memory for 5 elements. Then, so this is connected to our array ERR. And the indexes are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, what we are doing here, we are just traversing your array and we are printing the element of your array here. So AR dot ARR dot length will take size as 5 here. So no problem. So it won't go with exception. That is array index out of bound exception. We are traversing the array as it is. And can you find any compile time error here? No compile time error. And uh, so we are printing the value of array. So what will be the value of this array elements? We did not store any value into this array elements. Then what values it is going to take when we are not giving any value into this array elements? So this is very, very important. When you are not storing any value into array, once you allocate memory for array, the values what it holds is default values. What value it holds? Default values. Since array is of type integer, what is the default value for integer? Zero. So if you are not going to store any value into array, it's going to have what values here? Default values zero. So when you are printing the array elements like ARR of zero index, one index, two index, three index, four index, and the, since the loop repeats for five times, so what values it's going to provide? Since the values what it holds is zeros, so the correct output of this program is five zeros, right? So what is the correct output here? Five zeros. So the main concept is since arrays comes under reference type, when you are allocating memory for array, once the memory is allocated for array, the values what it contains by default is default values. So for integer, the default value is zero. For uh, for all integral types, so what are the integral types we are having? So we are having to we are having totally five integral types what they are sorry this we are having integral types like byte short int long for these four integral types the, the default value is zero for float and double for float and double floating type the default value is 0, 0.0 and for boolean for boolean data type the default value is false the default value is false and for any reference type if you go with any reference type like string or classes it will go with none but here we are going with integer array integer array and every index element is what type here integer so every element in the element index is what type here integer so the array value what it holds is of type integer so the default value for integer what it is going to take here zeros right so that's the reason the correct output of this program is d option five zeros so that's about in this video please subscribe like and share thank you